Hall of Famer Ron Pierce has earned more than 160 million in his career, but it wasn't an easy journey to success. I grew up poor as a kid, and uh, never in my wildest imagination or dreams did I ever think that I would be as successful as I've been. When Pierce does manage to have a day off, he hunts and fishes to clear his mind. As a kid, like I said, we grew up poor. We, my brother and I, my older brother, we, we'd go out and we'd hunt and fish for food. And my mom had a garden. We had a milk cow. And uh, we'd milk the cow in the morning, go hunting in the evenings, and uh, um, eat the vegetables from the garden. So, um, you know, I got into hunting and fishing at an early age, and, um, and I still do it. I love it. I just, that's my escape. Right now, his focus is still harness racing. Even after decades of driving, he says he has three more years left in him. I have my reflexes. They're still there. My strength is there. Uh, physically, it's, it's more wear and tear on my body, so I'm having to uh, I do more um, physical therapy and things like that just to keep my body uh, toned. It's getting harder to get out there every race as I get older. Pierce is considered one of the best in the sport. After being inducted into the Hall of Fame, he says his work ethic is simple. It's just been work. You know, I just show up for work and, you know, things just kind of fell into place for me. I was, I've been really lucky to get on some great horses over the years. And here's an interesting fact. Pierce really wanted to be a jockey when he was younger. I knew I was going to be too big when I was about seven. Eight, so then I knew I'd be a harness horse driver. My dad used to ride quarter horses, and and uh, then he got a little too big, and then he switched over to the uh, harness. And I had an uncle Mickey Toronto who was a, a harness horse trainer, so we we um, kind of hung out at his barn for a little while, and then my dad got his own barn, and you know I used to just go down with the barn with my my dad all the time. And, so I got into it. And when he finally retires, his plans are to hunt in countries like Africa, Australia, and New Zealand. I'm Jennifer Sherlock, PA Harness Week.